So this is a 2014 Honda Civic Si. It has full bolt-on, basically, and a head swap. This car put down some great numbers today. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back. Thanks for checking out another video. I have this unique ninth gen Civic in the shop for a tune today. I wanted to make a video for you guys because it has a very cool setup. So we have some previous Dynagraphs to do comparisons with, so I just had to make a video. So this is a 2014 Honda Civic Si. It has full bolt-on basically and a head swap. This car put down some great numbers today. Like usual, it's already all tuned. I'm gonna go through all the details of this build, then share the shots of the dyno poles, and then share the final dyno graphs at the end. These engines normally come with a K24 Z7 engine that has the integrated exhaust manifold or exhaust port for the uh, in the head, uh, kind of like what I have over here. This is a K24 Z7 engine, and it has one single exhaust port on the head, unlike the traditional old K-series engines that had four exhaust ports. The owner has done the uh, what everyone wants to do. They've swapped on a K20 head. This engine has the K20 Z3 head, so an eighth gen Civic Si head. It is stock, it has stock K20 Z3 cams, the stock K20 Z3 RBC uh, VTC cam gear. When you do this, you do have to modify the head. You have to weld part of it and then machine it flat. You also have to use the original K24 Z7 valve cover and timing cover. I've tuned a few of these setups and it is a great upgrade. When this car was here before, we tuned it. It had very basic bolt-on, so it didn't make crazy power, but today it made some really good power. But we'll get to that in a bit. Uh, I'm just gonna go through all the details of the mods. It has a short ram intake, which kind of held us back today. The owner is gonna switch it up to a cold air intake soon and then come back and then we'll have even more comparisons to, to share with you guys. It does have the K-Tune 72 mil throttle body. It also has the RBC intake manifold. It's actually not even port matched at the moment. Uh, one more upgrade the owner's gonna do eventually. He has a set of RDX injectors. These injectors, they're close to maxing out at the power level that it's at. It's at they're at 75% today. The block still has the stock oil pump in it, the original K24 Z7 oil pump that has the balance shafts that you're not really supposed to rev high. We've raised the red line a little bit today, but uh, eventually I think he's gonna switch it to the Type S oil pump so we can rev it a bit higher if it ends up making more power next time. As for header, it has a K-tuned 8th gen Civic Si header on it that was heavily modified to fit. A good header, it fits the space, but there are slightly better headers out there that, that will make even more power. Uh, and then the exhaust system is a full three inch Exo custom exhaust system. Stock fuel pump in the tank. We tuned it on Honda Data Flash Pro today. It has 94 octane pump gas in the tank. I think that is about it. If I missed anything, I'll try to put it in the video description and or if you have any questions, put it in the comments. But uh, why don't we cut to the shots of the dyno poles and then check out what this thing made.
All right, guys, so I'm sure you're curious to see what this thing put down today. Up on the screen, I have the Dynagraphs from before and today. In red are the results from when it was here before, where it only had a short RAM intake, uh, the stock intake manifold, and then a three inch downpipe and a three inch exhaust system. And it made 192 horsepower, 166 foot pounds of torque with those very minimal mods. This time around, it's essentially full bolt on. It doesn't have the cold air intake. The throttle body's not port matched, but basically everything else is full bolt on, and uh, plus the head. And we put down 241 horse, 189 foot pounds torque, and uh, only revving it to about 7,700 RPM. Uh, VTEC at 45, and basically more power everywhere, except for this little spot between 4,000, like 4,000 and 4,500 where the original engine made a little bit more torque. The original engine is designed to make a lot of mid-range power, so it's not surprising that it beat it out there by a little bit, but basically everywhere else, this, uh, this setup made significantly more horsepower. This is one of the recommendations I usually make to people that ask me, how can you get more power out of your ninth gen? Once you've maxed out your setup and done full bolt-on, one of the best things you can do is swap on an eighth gen Civic SI head and use the stock cams, or maybe even upgrade to a set of like, drag cartel 2.2 cams and uh, make 240 plus horsepower. So anyways, I think that's about it for this video, guys. Hopefully you've enjoyed it. Let me know what you think in the comments. If, uh, if you liked the video, do me a favor, hit that like button. If you haven't already, consider subscribing and I will continue to keep making these videos. So thanks again for watching and I'll see you again soon.